just Zevlor, Tilly. We're civilians now, remember. With respect. I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head! I said I don't have it. Maybe he dropped it running away from those big, scary goblins. You little split-tongue freak! Probably not. It's just tin and glass. Here, take it. Not sure why you care so much about it, honestly. Scrap! Before I give you something to care about, kids, lucky you were here. Where did I put that old bucket? There. Done. We've known enough grief this ten day traveler. Don't be the cause of more. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face would frighten a troll. <laughs> You're an idiot. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible. Or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. you find the edges of a concealed entrance. to find a way forward. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Not sure why you're poking your nose in our business, though. None of yours. This is our hideout. But hey, maybe you didn't know. Because of that, I'll give you a ten count to leave. Nine. Eight. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. 
I should speak up. Whoa! Hey! Can't say I've ever seen someone like you before. Go on. Take this ring. It's lucky. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, not so loud! You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just... trying to earn money for my family. My father left, and my mother... she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. I, uh, I don't know what you mean. Hey, that hurts. I'm running an honest... Uh, okay, what's a tinker's trash? Uh-huh. Huh. Interesting. And I promise, this isn't a Tinker's Trash scam. Look, I swear to you, these rings are the real deal. I promise, I'm not running a scam. Last chance. You want to look at my stuff or not? <laughs> no fooling you, is there? All right, get walking. Leave some room for the chumps, huh? Never wanted the easy path. Oh, um, I... I don't have any money or anything to sell. My p partner does that. What? Um... I'm the guard? So, don't steal anything! I'm watching you. Please. Think you could stand back a ways, pal? I'm fishing for chumps here. Let my daughter go right now! She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Mragrasham, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> We need to get Arabella out, now! You heard the guards. They're waiting on Corker to give word. I'd sooner trek through the Nine Hells than trust that snake! Ugh. Arabella tried to steal their idol. Druids lost their damn minds about it. They need it for their precious ritual. Oh, it's all my fault. I told her I wish the wretched thing would just disappear, or better yet, explode. Now Arabella's being judged by a bunch of druids who hate us. That's not right. Breaking into druid chambers to steal a secret relic. Oh, she sounds like fun. We'll figure something out. We always do. Speaking of, we don't have time to gather. You'd best move on. Lives are at stake, and the cowards only care about their bloody rituals. We could have taken those gods. I'd rather you not get eaten by a bear. Mm. Magrin, give him a chance. You, get back! Yeah. 
It's forbidden to outsiders. Korga's orders. Keep back. Force my hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Oh. I understand. You. Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. She's not our kid for nothing. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. Girl, you mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Halsin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Fair words. Child, take to the others word of my grace. Sivasif, Tila, to me. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin would- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Teela pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just... something I have to live with. Sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? I will... A death viper. You have no... Girl, she eats... Wrath and keep... Come, do it. The snakes hiss. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. 
Now, Raph. No. Ithias, Tila, to me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? the remains. Continue the right. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. He's dead. Child for that. Korga, we are guardians, Let's get not in and out killers. of this place before Spare any your tears. decide to bear their she fangs. She knew the Us. danger. She still tried to run. See what this does. Yes, I see. And is that unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Oh, I will impact a death viper. You have no girl. She ran to the death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Now, Rath. No. <laughs> Tina, to me. Go and the this out. She's dead. Koga, we are guardians. Let's get in and out of this place before any vipers decide to bear their fangs with us. Danger. She still tried to run. Time to press it. Ah, my grizzled friend. What can you tell me about this place? Yes, I see. Unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Corker. Corker did... What? That... up for discussion if only we'd never let the tieflings in I the child might have lived course. you have master house to blame for that i didn't realize you were frightened can't believe he just left he lost sight of what is important we can't do the same i suppose you've noticed i'm not terribly fond of wolves they're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers 
It's hardly an irrational fear to harbor. You've been decent to me so far. Maybe if you can, don't make me face any more of them. At least, not alone. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. I just hope they leave. Come Mercy on place. us, Sylvanas. Mercy. 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 You may be right. We've let a snake replace our leader. And the result? By the tree father. That girl. Master Halsin. Perhaps goblin called. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more. Sent into a world gone mad. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. It is what Korga desires. I doubt it is what Sylvanus wants. Come, boy. It's all right. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? She made her choice. I know you're kind. You see only victims and villains. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. The right of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Get out. We have no more business. Not everyone subscribed. I see you. Just give me a moment. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This may be challenging. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I 
I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. That's a serious condition. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. broken tissue. The wing is delicately airy. You wonder what it would be like to fly as the birds do. Head on in. Let's go. The workshop's this way. Rabbit? Pained? Sick? You're spasming and twitching. You poor thing. The norm is to keep dirty thoughts like that to ourselves, but do carry on. Seems you've been dealt a vile hand. I say, play it. Play it for all it's worth. Nobody should deny themselves their true nature. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. All right. Let's see what we can do. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. 
You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though? It's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms, for sure. But this one gives you powers. Telepathic connections. And it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? I can't make any promises. This is like nothing we've seen before. But I know this for sure. Master Halson is the only one close to understanding these things. He's your best bet to survive. Otherwise, that vile's your only option. The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice. Truly. But this is the hand fate's dealt you. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure... ...is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad... Remember the vial. Remember your oath. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. 